Hi guys, how you doing? Welcome back to Crazy Bake. Hi. Yes, we are actually back after two weeks away because um, we've been enjoying family time. We've been on holiday, and now we're back to make some good videos for you guys. Um, I forgot the recipe what we're doing already. Um, yeah, I forgot what we did today. Well, I've got it on my iPad. Well then, um, guys, what we put? I've changed the recipe up slightly. Um, oh, some. Because the way they do it, it don't tell you when to add the ingredients or what. Um, we are doing chocolate peanut butter squares with sweetener. Ooh. So yeah, I'm going to be getting the tripod set up, which is just to my right. Um, so yeah. Got everything sort of ready. Oh, I'm not even feeling myself. <laughs> not used to holding the camera. Not been doing it for two weeks. Um, yeah, so we've already prepped some bits. So we're just going to crack on and get you guys set up on the tripod. Right. So here's our ingredients. In it is 200 grams of peanut butter. We have 75 grams of golden syrup, meant to be honey, but we don't have honey. Well, it did differ. I don't know where it's gone. It's been used. Um, so we're substituting it for... It's It'd just like... Sweet, yeah, it's but sweeter. Won't be... Not so sweet, but it's more runnier than it honey. It won't be like a sugar-free with us, because... Well, peanut butter's not sugar-free neither. Ah. More's the white chocolate that they're putting in it. Um, yeah, so 75 grams of that, two tablespoons of sweetener. I don't know, maybe they just want it extra sweet because chocolate's not really sugar free. Um, 150 grams of rolled oats and 90 grams of chocolate. So yeah. I mean, you could nice. probably make it sugar free. You could if you've got the honey and you could get sugar free okay. chocolate. We need a bowl. Could have a spoon. Yes. So I'm just gonna and you need a j measuring jug, glass one preferably. And that is to Put your peanut butter, doesn't matter, any brand peanut butter, it really doesn't matter, in there, and also, can you see that? Let me move it. Also, your golden syrup. We'll have to get some more honey, I think. Yeah. Off mark. I thought I had some honey. Eh, well. um, my cousin, he's a keeps bees, sells the honey. I've linked his page down below before. I've got a tiny bit. I will link it down there if you want to buy some honey. Um, one of the stickiest mm. jobs. Don't know if you'll get the chance to. It goes very quick. Yeah. So there you go, and I'm just going to stick that in the microwave. Don't leave it. Check it, you just want to mix it all together. Make sure it's all runny. Um, while I do that, I can get my mum to mix the oats and the sugar together. Make sure they're well mixed. <coughs> this recipe should only roughly be about 35 minutes.
I'm just gonna check our mixture and see how we're getting on. Would you like me to pop that chocolate out of the way? Oh yeah, that's better. Mixy mixy. Okay. I'm gonna make sure it's all combined together. <coughs> What about? Cut the seconds. Yeah, not very long. Uh, you could do it. So. You could do it a bit longer. And like that. Need a bit of tissue. Made a bit of a mess. Yeah, um, yeah, it should only take roughly 20 seconds just to melt. Thanks. And then I'm gonna pour this and my mum's gonna mix it. Am I? Or you pour it and oh, I mix it. Oh, go on. This recipe shouldn't be that heavy. Make sure you get every little bit. Oh, it smells so nice. Get straight through. <coughs> fire up this. Just to heat the water through. It isn't hard, I'm just trying to do it <laughs> over my... Yeah. So while my mum's doing that, I'm just going to spin you around here and just show you quickly. <clears throat> so what we've got next to melt your chocolate is I've just got a saucepan with a little bit of water in it, just a minute, and a glass ceramic bowl, um, a glass bowl. Um, you don't want the water to be touching the top, like of the bottom bit. Um, just below that and obviously when it's hot just turn it off you don't want to keep it boiling um, we're only melting the chocolate we're not cooking it otherwise as soon as the water starts getting onto the bowl then your chocolate's just going to start going hard just Using that spoon just to scrape my spoon off to make sure it's all well combined. There you go. It's all combined. Yep. Um, <clears throat> next stage is you will need a eight inch square tin which we already have here lined with a round cake case well yeah you can put <coughs> parchment paper in it or just... yeah and just spread it out any old fashion I'm going to swap over to the metal spoon here because it's going to be easier to Actually, it would have been easier if um, you put this down. Okay, I've got clean fingers. Use your hands. With this, it will spread out it quite well. Because the paper's moving. Yeah, that's what. It's, I, I personally would have. That's right, I'll hold it and then you spread it out that way. But I dip down, you know. Um. But it's, it doesn't have to be perfect. You can always get a glass. Look at that.
Well, our water is starting to bubble. <coughs> I'm just... There we go. La la la. Have fun. Also with this, we're not cooking it. It goes straight into the freezer for about half an hour. So, let's get on to the next bit. Melting our chocolate. So you don't want the water touching your bowl. Let them drips there is just the condensation. You don't, you don't want it touching. As you can see, we've got a bit of a mix. Yeah, we've got a bit of a mixture. These you chopped chips. Cut them square smaller. No, they should be alright. Um, the chopped chips are a pack that we already had open anyway. So I thought rather than open a new bar of chocolate. You might as well. I do, don't worry about it. Yeah. Now we just have to wait for it to melt. Yeah. You can actually do this in the microwave as well. Spatula or spoon? Oh, whatever. Use your spoon. I don't know. <coughs> what you want to use? Yeah, I prefer doing my chocolate this way because whenever I do it in the oven, in the microwave, should I say, I always end up burning the chocolate. Right, I might quite at just this is better for me. Got some steam escaping from the side of my bulb. Oh, I about them because they them actually go down. This is exciting. Everyone's quiet for a change. That's unusual for this house. There's always something going on normally. Yep. Normally the kids would be here. That probably wins that they weren't in the video. Talk about. Right. <sighs> yeah, we went away for a bit. That we might have another business opportunity coming up soon. Mm. Yeah. not actually 100% confirmed yet but hopefully it will be. No, all I'm doing is I'm gonna that is starting that is out lovely. Quick. I'm gonna pop that off the heat now and just stir in those last bits with it. And get some oven gloves or a tea towel. 
Yeah. Here are the tea towels. There's a tea towel here, but my other gloves are somewhere. We'll go back over here. This bit is very hot, so. Put that there. And just stir that. Obviously, that is going to carry on. And while I've left the lumps in, because it will help tamp temper tamping your chocolate, I'm not going to go into all doing that because. And then you got to pour it over the uh, nice peanut butter base. Oh, but we did go to a sweet factory while we was away. Oh yes. And uh, watch the sweets being made. Yes, but if you wanted to know, we went to actually the Isle of Wight. Which we've done loads of times, but... It was actually the, the place that we went when we was kids for a holiday, um, before we fell in love with an aeroplane. <laughs> but don't get me wrong, a UK holiday is just... you. There's just something about it. Would you like to scrape this off? It's just, there's just something lovely about a UK holiday. If you've not been to the Isle of Wight, you have to go. Can't guarantee the weather all the time. No, but it doesn't matter. But if you're British, you're used to a bit of rain. You're used to <laughs> a bit of rain. Your skin's waterproof, so you're not exactly going to fade away. Get every last little drip of that. Yes, and there you uh, go. <coughs> doesn't have to be fancy. You can spend your time and make it fancy if you wish. Yeah, you can put sprinkles on there or whatever you really want. Um, but yeah, that basically is it. Now it's got to go into the freezer for roughly. 30 to 40 minutes um, I'm going to put it in there for 30 minutes and actually see how it goes and how we get on um, so yeah be back in a bit and here you go if by magic half hour later there it is it's quite hard I, I don't know how you're going to cut that uh, Meant to cut it into 16 pieces, but got to try and cut it first, it's like concrete. It's going to spin in the freezer, but it will cut. I don't, I suppose it depends how big your pieces are. Yeah, that's about right. You want to be able to taste it. Do you want me to do that bit? No, I'll do it. Yeah, I'll do it. I don't have any pieces. We'll just do this bit to <clears throat> test test. Cut out as well, nice. Oh wow. Hey guys off the try Bob. Mmm. Oh wow, that is nice. Yeah. You've got Mmm. If you like peanut butter. The oats set off the saltiness to the mm. peanut butter, and I love peanut butter. If you butters. like the peanut butter and white chocolate, definitely give that a go. That is so delicious. Wow. Mm. And even it being hot, it's just come from the freezer. 
but it's not actually that bad to um, eat. Oh, it just brings out the saltiness of the peanut butter. Absolutely nice. Yeah, so definitely nice that was. Mm. <coughs> so. A bit like putting peanut butter on a digestive. Mm. Mm. Okay, if you enjoyed that video, please give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Turn the little bell notification on where it should say subscribed. Um, you get notified whenever we upload a video. So yeah. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye. Bye.